Hi sisters, how are you? Always great to be with you and to see you and it's been so good to have talked to you in the last few weeks. I know that some of you, it's been a long time, so it's really great to connect. Um, I know that just talking to you and, you know, across all the stories you have to, to share, the common theme was the need of faith actually faith 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 we need faith and not just for you and i felt for myself as well i know that there are some of you who are looking for jobs waiting waiting for job offers um struggling to switch careers dealing with kids and uh, family conflicts so many things that you are going through and we need faith more than ever and i have been um working on memorizing Psalm 27 and even in the first three just the first three verses David is so daring in what he says and I wanted to share that with you because it ties to faith so it starts with the Lord is my light and my salvation whom shall I fear the Lord is the refuge of my life of whom shall I be afraid when the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, my enemies and my foes, they stumbled and fell. Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war may rise against me, in this I will be confident. Now, let's talk about the last verse. Though an army may encamp against me, my heart will not fear. I don't know who David is, but this is bold. Like... This is like for me, even just one person, if one person is upset with me or is in conflict with me, I panic. Okay, I'm just like, oh my goodness, I can't sleep. It's and here David says, even though an army, and he goes on to say, even if a war rises up against me, like David, who are you? Like you're not Superman. And then I was thinking. Psalm 27 or any of the song, they're not poems. It's not like he just sat down and he felt like, oh, let me just write something poetic, something that will inspire people. No, these are actual testimonies. This is actually David saying, this is what I believe, this is what I went through, and no, I am not afraid. And I was just thinking about that. I'm like, oh, wow, this is really, like, this is just... Too much audacity and I really wanted to know what David meant and I was drawn back to um, the story of David and Goliath now if we want to talk about faith that's a story right there David has no army training you have Goliath who is a giant big bulky he has all the he he is just armed from head to toe the helmet the shield everything and david just has the courage to go up against him i'm just like how how is that possible so, so let's see one of them is psalm first uh, samuel chapter 17 verse 45 where david says to to goliath you come to me with a sword, with a spear, and a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defiled. So, so, we know that Goliath has a sword, he has a spear, he has a javelin, and whatever he has, and David has nothing. But he says, I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, which makes us realize that the reason why he had faith is because not that he was looking at himself and saying, oh, I can defeat this man, or not that he was looking at the surrounding because the arms of Israel were just like dead scared, but he looked to God. Because he knew that that's the only way that I can defeat this man. Not by looking at myself, not by looking at my opponent, but by looking at God because he can do what I cannot. And that's what faith is about. It's not when I look at my circumstances. It's not when I look at my abilities and say, oh, I can do it. I'm more than conqueror. I can do it. No, it's when you look at God and say, he can do it. He can fix 
the problem that I'm going through. He can fix my marriage. He can fix my problem, my job situation. He can provide where there's no hope at all. And why do we get scared? Why do we get discouraged? It's because we, our eyes are fixed on the wrong things. Instead of eyes being fixed on the Lord, our eyes are just fixed on the problem, on ourselves, on our weaknesses, and that's why there's no courage. That's why we are so just defeated. But faith is when we shift our sight and we look and we behold at God. And this is the same David in Psalm 27 later on who says, if there's only one thing I can desire, it's just to behold on the magnificence of the Lord, just to be in His presence. And that's what we need, sisters. We need to be in God's presence by meditating on the Word, studying the Word, uh, praising the Lord, uh, being in times of fasting, um, being in times of prayer. And these are the things that really help us to shift our focus away from the problems and to fix them on the Lord. I know we always say the battle is not mine, but the battle is the Lord. Yes, the battle is the Lord. And we do need to believe that He is God and He will take care of us. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4 says, The righteous shall live by faith. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 16 says, Without faith it is impossible to please God. And those are two main verses, honestly, that is the core of our life as Christians. That without faith it is impossible to please God. And the righteous shall live by faith. Which means that if there is no faith, there is no life. We can go to church, we can do so many things, but if we do not have the faith, that conviction, if we do not know who the God that we serve is, what are his abilities, his powers, then there's the devil will defeat us any day, any time. But we need to stand firm and know who we are and whose we are. And we need to have that confidence and firm assurance. And when we get to just fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and finish of our faith, then we can be bold and confident like David who says, even though an army encamp against me, I, my heart will not fear, even though a war may rise up against me, in this I will be confident. So I just wanted to come to you sisters with this quick message of encouragement that we need to have faith in these last days more than ever. There, will be, there are going to be more and more difficult days ahead, but if we have Jesus as our anchor, we can make it, we can thrive, we can be victorious and more than conquerors through Jesus Christ. As always, stay blessed, ladies. Bye.